Hi, I'm Deb Sullivan from Bird Life Australia and I love our lakes. We're running a couple of projects under the new Love Our Lakes funding round. Uh, and one of those obviously incorporates the Great Pelican Count, which we're very, very pleased to continue on for another couple of years. One of the projects we also um, are funded under this round is to continue the monitoring for the Ramsar site of the Gippsland Lakes. So we monitor across uh, the entire spatial area of the, the Ramsar boundary at a variety of sites and fringing wetlands looking at abundance and diversity of, of different birds within the area. We have a wealth of incredible species that visit the Gippsland Lakes. Um, I mean what's not to love about the Gippsland Lakes and there's so many different um, environments within it uh, that we have various species that prefer perhaps the salt marsh uh, and that are migrating. The Latham snipe get into our salt marshes. It's very valuable habitat for some of our migratory birds, including the sharp-tailed sandpiper. Some of our mud flats are a great place for um, other migratory shorebird species, such as the bar-tailed godwit. And of course, we know that there's a, a record holding bar-tailed godwit for 13,000 kilometres non-stop flight um, from its breeding ground down to Tasmania. Um, there's a number of local species that call the Gippsland Lakes home, such as the Australian pelican. Um, we are very fortunate the Gippsland Lakes is only one of two remaining permanent breeding colonies in Victoria out of historically ten. Uh, so it's quite a significant decline, but the Gippsland Lakes supports uh, a healthy population. The previous Gippsland Lakes um, projects brought together an extraordinary group of people, um, community groups and agencies that we all drew on strengths within our own organisations and combine that to make a, a bigger valuable picture, more valuable picture for the Gippsland Lakes and its health and how we were going to take that forward. And, and once again, the Gippsland Lakes round uh, forthcoming is also combining another group of extraordinary people, extraordinary projects, uh, and we're all on the same page. We're all trying to create a better picture. We're trying to improve um, species at species level and as well as an environmental level and as a holistic landscape. So it's a really exciting space to work in.